And it says, the Rochester Police Department is releasing the following additional information relating to, to the investigation into the death of 17-year-old female Evangelique Eve Tommy of Rochester, who died on October 17, 2015, at the Riviera Motel located at 40, 479 Garnick Road here in Rochester. An autopsy was conducted on October 17th by the New Hampshire State Medical Examiner's Office. And as a result of the toxicology report, the medical examiner's office has determined the cause of death was due to acute fentanyl intoxication and is listing the manner of death as accidental. The Rochester Police Department, with the assistance from the several agencies previously mentioned, assisted with multiple interviews that were conducted. And as a result of the investigation, Rochester Police would like to announce the following arrests which occurred today in relation to this case. The first individual is identified as Mark Ross, age 41, of 479 Garnick Road, room 117, which is the Riviera Motel here in Rochester. Mr. Ross has been charged with conspiracy to commit possession of a controlled drug, which is a Class B felony, tampering with witnesses and informants, which is also a Class B felony, falsifying physical evidence, times two, which are all Class B felonies. And the following charge is dispensing a controlled drug, death resulting, which is a Class A felony. Ross was uh, arrested today at the Rockingham County Jail, where he was currently incarcerated by detectives from my department. And he is currently uh, being, he is currently refused bail and is being held there on those charges. Also under arrest today was the mother of Angelique of Angelique Tommy, and her she's identified as Jasmine Rude, age 41, of 11 Barker Court here in Rochester. She's been charged with the following crimes: conspiracy to commit possession of a controlled drug is a Class B felony, endangering the welfare of a child incompetent, which is a Class A misdemeanor, and rec reckless conduct, which is placing another in danger, which is also a Class B felony. Rude was arrested by detectives this afternoon and is currently being held on $10,000 cash bail. We also have a third individual involved in this. Um, investigation that we currently have active arrest warrants for and are attempting to locate as we speak. She's identified as Leslie Aberly, age 31, of High Street in Salisbury, Massachusetts. We have active warrants for her for the following charges, which are conspiracy to commit possession of a controlled drug, Class B felony, tampering with witnesses and informants, Again, a Class B felony, and dispensing a controlled drug death resulting, Class A felony. I want to note that the case remains under investigation, um, and uh, I also wanted to uh, issue some brief statements about the current opiate crisis here in New Hampshire. Opiate abuse is at epidemic levels in New Hampshire and throughout New England. This sentiment is shared by Special Agent in Charge Michael J. Ferguson of the Boston's DEA office. Fentanyl is causing overdose, death, overdose deaths across the Granite State, and Rochester Police and the DEA are committed to bringing justice to those that distribute this lethal drug. This investigation demonstrates the strength of collaborative law enforcement efforts in New Hampshire to aggressively pursue anyone who traffics drugs, traffics these drugs, both in the city of Rochester and throughout Stratford County. We have a great relationship uh, in this county where we have all of our partnering uh, local departments that uh, collaborate on a county level with um, our county drug task force and they are uh, actively, they actively work through work, drug investigative work here in this county, as well as in this city. And uh, we, I want to, I want to thank Sheriff Dave Dubois as well, 
of the Stratford County Sheriff's Department who leads that effort. Um, it's a great collaboration and, and, and it is making an impact uh, here in Rochester, those efforts. I also wanted to note that year to date we've had 98 overdoses here in the, in the, in the city of Rochester that's, that the Rochester Police Department has responded to, eight of which have resulted in fatalities. So that goes to uh, helping you understand the magnitude of the problem both here in Rochester and uh, throughout Stratford County as well as the, the state of New Hampshire. So at this time um, that concludes my prepared comments.